Okay, okay time, time series. series. Hey, I'm going to explain to you how to do this incredible effect. I would say it's super easy to achieve, so let's go there. You need a text here. It works very well when it's like a very blocky kind of text, like with a bold, thick font and very closed, like kerning. And then the next thing that we need is here in window, effects and presets. We are going to look for the bulge effect. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, but it's this little fella here. So we apply it to the layer. And let's start playing with this. The first thing that we notice is that we have like the radius, horizontal and vertical. And we can play with them independently. Independently? In, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Then we have the height which obviously deforms it more or less and this, then this is like very very interesting the taper radius is like it makes it feel softer the transition so this is another thing that we can play with and it's very interesting and then I, I encourage you that you keep this the anti-aliasing at low when you are working and you change it to high for the final render so we have the center here which controls where it's placed but it's not very um, handy to animate it from here so we are going to create another layer in this case an ob a null object like this one here this is, go this is going to be our control I hit enter to rename it and the next thing that we need is a little but very useful expression. If we click here on the stopwatch of the center while we hold down on Alt or Option on a Mac, like this, we have all these things going on here, which are, uh, you know, the place to, to, to write some code. But the only thing that we are going to do is we are going to grab this and place on the position of the control or our null object let's move this up and if we open it here we have the position again we track from this little control or yeah the pick whip as it as it is called and we release it here and that means that now the center is going to be controlled by the null object so let's see yeah it's working so this is an awesome effect the bulge effect but I would say like the the only thing that can be like that we can make better is this the center just by connecting it to a null object so now it's a matter of animating it like very freely and it works very well when you place it on top of circular shapes like the A or the, the E like this and now it's a matter of playing with the curves or the easing as you as you all know and yeah that's pretty much it Okay, type series. series.